Welcome to this, the first video in the Ranarex Studio Ranarex Path series, Ranarex Blueprint. We shall explain how Ranarex Path syntax describes a UI element by way of an example. We shall track the exit button in Ranarex Spy. We are then presented with a basic Ranarex Path which consists of three elements. An axis which indicates navigation direction within the tree representation of the UI elements, the role or node. Ranarex uses the role or adapter type of a UI element as the primary description header. And finally, the attribute value pairs, which are optionally used to identify and describe UI elements within XPath notation. Ranarex automatically selects the most suitable attribute value pair among the list of available attributes to identify and describe a UI element. Most suitable means the attribute with the highest weight is chosen. If we now take the example of the UI element we have just described to further understand the Ranarex path construction. In the browser view, we see the UI element in a tree-like structure. The Rx main frame is the root element, and the Rx button is the node element. We see both in their hierarchical form in the path editor. Therefore, the Ranarex path is constructed of both the root element and the node element, and each element contains an axis, a role, an attribute and a value. There are two main ways of how to use and apply Ranarex path specifications. Passive, it automatically derives Ranarex path specifications for UI elements based on GUI analysis of Ranarex Spy. Or active, which manually specifies Ranarex path specifications to uniquely track and identify UI elements within a dynamic test application environment. It is important to understand that level of detail versus flexibility has an impact on robustness and execution speed. A very detailed Ranarex path leads to less robust declarations, but may speed up with respect to execution time. A very flexible Ranarex path becomes more robust and immune against changes in GUI architecture but becomes more time consuming during processing. One outstanding characteristic of Aranorex is its robustness of test cases against dynamic changes in the graphic user interface. This robustness has its origin in the maximum flexibility of Aranorex path definitions. The automatic generation of Aranorex path specifications tries to find a good compromise between detail and flexibility. This is usually achieved by trying to include suitable container elements into the path specification. If we use spy again, and this time track the female button in the demo app, and then go to the path editor, we see a total of seven Ranarex path items. The root element, Rx main frame, the fixed Ranarex path item Rx tab standard, the node, RDB female, and finally, four wildcards, which are represented by the forward slash question mark in the Ranarex path. These wildcards give way for GUI changes and a robust identification regardless of these changes and will be explored in more detail in the next video in the series. This was the first video in the Ranarex Studio Ranarex Path series. In the next video, we will be looking at syntax examples.